aid on here. Okay, so um, this is my AS rock that I'm try been trying to clean the viruses out of. It has Windows 7 on it. And I finally decided I am going to put, I, I decided to put, well I already decided to do this, but I decided to put the uh, 30 gigabyte hard drive in there. I've already got it in there. They're both IDE hard drives and this uh, this AS Rock motherboard is, and then this machine, this was a e, this is an e-machines box and the motherboard got had bad caps and they blew, they blew two or three caps and a bunch of them were swollen and uh, well actually this was belonged to a, someone, uh, a neighbor and um, it, uh, I happen to just have this AS Rock motherboard that I bought for another machine that didn't end up needing it and um, this is a really versatile motherboard it is uh, there's the numbers on it I can't really see them to read them with the camera but uh, oh sorry but um, let's put it right there while I'm telling it will run uh, DDR. You can see it on there. You can run. I can see that run DDR2, 1066 megahertz. DDR3, 1600 megahertz. Dual channel memory. Uh, it will run somewhere on there. It says it right there. Supports eight core CPU. It'll and it's got a dual core AM. It's AMD. AMD in it right now. This is what was already in the uh, original machine. And. Uh, so it was just, you know, it's real. You could, uh, if you're doing work for people, then that's a good motherboard to just have on hand. Of course, maybe people already know that, but uh, uh, I traded. I, I went ahead and took this box, you know, what was left of the machine, the memory, and the processor, and the box for uh, part of the trade on the labor for building them a new machine. I built them a six core AMD. And. Uh, put this other fan in it, I, I don't believe, well, yeah, I don't think it had that fan, I put another fan in it, and, um, uh, it originally had an SATA hard drive, but I, I gave their, their hard drive back to them, I think, no, 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 I think this is the hard drive that was in it, I don't know why, that, here's what I was, I'm doing, this is what I'm telling about here, really, uh, the it has two SATA connectors. This came with the power supply that came with it, and one Molex. Well, to put two hard drives in there, I needed an adapter, and I didn't have one like that. But I did have a female. That's that's female on that side there. It was a. It came with a. I think I remember it came with a fan, so that you could add a fan to a system. It's a very small fan. I remember that fan, and it wore out after several years. I used it, and uh, actually, I got that in another from another machine that someone I worked on for him. But anyway, uh, so that's why that's cut off because the fan died. So I just cut those wires off. But I wanted wire nuts on there to make sure those things can't touch any all this metal in here. You don't want any of that DC short welding going on in there, and uh, it blow out your it might blow out your power supply, or something worse, your motherboard. So I use these uh, crimp connectors to, uh, I just cut it, it was about that long, about how long that is right there, and I just cut it in half, and I had another, I've got some bad power supplies out there that I save for, you know, wiring and stuff and Molex connectors, so uh, uh, even if you can't use any of the electronics parts out of them, because you really wouldn't know if they're any good or not, when they're, once they're bad, you know, and wrong, um, and they're, you know, electronics parts are pretty cheap, most of them, I mean, you might use the the uh, windings and stuff, the, uh, you could, uh, can't even say the right word, transformers. <coughs> um, so anyway, I use these crimp connectors, you know, and I could put two in one end, or just the right size where I could put two in one end and one in the other, and it would still crimp down tight and hold. I tested every one of them, make sure they're, I started, I thought about soldering. I used to, that's how I used to do it, everything, <coughs> but, uh, uh, You know, my hand, my hands aren't so great anymore. They shake and drop and things and everything. So uh, I can't see. <laughs> so uh, I did this. I was actually couldn't hardly see just where to put the crimper. Uh, I needed more light. I was in the garage and uh, and the mosquitoes freaked me up. I, I didn't go out there until too late this afternoon. I should have went out earlier in the day, but I didn't feel very good, so I didn't. So anyway, I got it all hooked up. I haven't turned it on yet. 
Um, so I thought I'd just make a little video. And uh, I checked on my. Um, it's not a very big power supply. I checked on one. I checked on one of my hard drives. They should be both about the same. But it said one. I only one. I didn't think about it till I got them. Got to really thinking about it once I got them in the in the connect, uh, case here, and the there's a holder that pulls out. I, th I thought, how much amps do these things draw? You know, uh, even the, you know, I mean, this is made with three connect connectors on it, so you should be able to theoretically hook up three th three uh, hard drives without overtaxing the power supply. But power supplies are the weakest link in computers these days. Ever since about 2000, I'm going to shut this around where I can show try and show the numbers or look at them and tell about them but uh, I've got old computers from pre-2000 there's the power supplies are as good as the day they were born but I don't know every almost half of the computers I've had and I've had quite quite a few 15 20 25 and you know in the last since 2000 I don't get them all the time but I get you I, people give them to me when they're old and they don't want them anymore and I put Linux on them and stuff and Make them work again. I'm trying to get this where there's some light on it, but not too much reflection. But uh, I don't think I can read it on the phone. Yeah, there's a reflection too. But uh, so anyway, let me get up here where I can read it. <coughs> and um, it is a yeah. I still can't see it. It's a 250 watt power supply max. I remember that. And each one of those, it's, it's got some good information on it. It tells you how much each rail can hold, can handle and all that. So, uh, I was talking about the hard drives. I don't think I ever said. One of them said on there that it uh, it drew 256 milliamps. So, uh, 256? Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's not bad. That's uh, 256? Already, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, 256. And let me see. Let me get my magnifying glass here. Let's see if I can look at this. Oh. I'll even look at it on, on the phone if I can. No, that won't work. But, uh. Yeah, the uh, 5 volt. 5 volt rail 16 amp to uh, total, 12 volt rail 15 amp total, uh, plus 3 20 amps, negative 12 volt half an amp, 3.3 uh, volts plus 5 volt total output can't exceed 110 watts. 3.3 volts plus 5 volts, uh, 110 watts. Oh, it's that's in Chinese the next row, same thing over again. 3.3 plus 5.5 plus 12 total output can exceed 245 watts. Now, I would uh, not trust that. I would go down to about 225 or so before, before you know, I'd be worried if I was drawing 225 on this thing. Because I've had uh, 450 watt power supplies, 350 watt power supplies, 325 watt power supplies go out. <coughs> Uh, and used to, I didn't really know, understand that, you know, I'd fill them up with fans and hard drives and stuff. And of course, the heat, the but hard drives make so much heat. Uh, you don't, you don't, might not realize they make a lot of heat. The processor makes the most, of course, but power supplies are probably they are the next thing that make the next most heat. So uh, the more you, you know, the more you heat up that power supply, the, the more likely it is to fail. And guess where they're always at? They started putting them in the bottom of the cases nowadays some, but they're usually always up here in the top. And I've, most of the older ones, most of them didn't have any. This has got vents in it so that it can pull air this way and this way. It's got a fan in it. I've seen them with, of course, the fans will go out first thing, and then you don't ever know it. Uh, but I've seen them all closed in where just, just a few vents here and the fan. Or I don't think I've ever seen one that was made without a fan, not, not a regular box you know PC power supply but uh, so anyway um, I'm gonna turn it on I'll plug it up and turn it on here in a minute see if it'll boot up uh, and run both hard drives and everything <coughs> without any trouble so let me kill this video and get it get the plugs on it and everything I don't have it cooked up <coughs> 